Here we are going to simplify and combine these radical expressions, and then as we can see, we are dealing with the cube roots, right? So let's take a look of the perfect cubes that we know. So as we can see, the cube of 1 is equal to 1. This is a good star, but we never use 1. Next one we know is the cube of 8 is equal to 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. And then we also know the cube of 27 is equal to 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. And then we can keep on going. But these are enough, actually. And then once again, I'm not going to look at 1 for this. Anyways, let's look at all the radical numbers first. So begin with this one, cube root of 16. Well, I know that 8 goes into 16 twice, right? So I can break down this as the cube root of 8 and write down the perfect cube first. So we have this right here. And we know that 8 times 2 is 16, so cube root of 8 times cube root of 2 is cube root of 16. Same thing, right? And let's also try to see how to break this down. Here we have cube root of 40, and we also know that 8 goes into 45 times. So I can break this down as the cube root of 8. Once again, put down these numbers first, okay? And then we multiply by the cube root of 5. cube root of 8 times cube root of 5, 8 times 5 is equal to 40 inside, so that's good. And lastly, we have 54, Well, we know that 27 goes into 54 twice, so I can break this down as the cube root of 27 times the cube root of 2, because 27 times 2 is equal to 54. Alright, so now let's see what we have. Originally, I have a negative 5 in front, so let me put on negative 5, but then we'll multiply by, see, negative 5 times this, right? But then we know cube root of 16 is equal to this times that, and the cube root of 8 is equal to the regular 2. So we have to multiply these two numbers together in a second, but then let me just continue, write down the rest. We will have the cube root of 2, and then we plus 7, and right here, we also have to multiply by, this is cube root of 8, so I have to multiply by 2 again. And then this is the cube root of 5. Let me just put it down nicely for you guys, right here. And then at the end, we have minus. And the good thing right here is that there's no number, so I'm just going to, no, I don't need to put down anything. We know this right here, the cube root of 27, it's a regular 3, so I can put this down. And then we still have the cube root of 2 like this, right? And my next step is I'm just going to multiply these numbers out. So negative 5 times 2 is going to be negative 10. And this is the cube root of 2. The next one is plus 7 times 2 is 14. But this is cube root of 5. And then the last one is minus 3 cube root of 2. Well, is there anything else that we can do with right here? Yes. Because this right here and this right here, they both have the cube root of 2. So we can look at the number in front. Here we have negative 10, and here we have minus 3. We can combine our terms. So this is going to be equal to negative 10 minus 3. That's negative 13. And then we keep the same term. So we maintain the cube root of 2. Okay? So once again, this and that. Together would give us negative 13 q root of 2. And I just need to write this down because the q root of 5 is different than this. So I cannot do anything with it, just 14 q root of 5. And this is the most that we can do. This is the answer. That's it.